Hello, everybody, and welcome to this video, because it's different from the last video, and it's probably going to be different from the one I do after this, too, because each video is different. They're like snowflakes falling from the sky into the snow on a winter day, all made out of the same thing, but they're all different. Um, but today, that was fucking weird, um, but today... We are going to be um, talking a little bit about um, submitting your short stories or poetry and if you should pay to submit your stuff. Now, I got this. Um, this is kind of a response video or like a um, piggyback video. I don't know what I'm talking about um, by Kay Spivey. There's Case Baby. Um, she did a video back, I think, in November about this. And I wrote down, I'm like, oh, I'm going to do a video about this as a response, you know, to keep current. So, like every good booktuber does, I wait um, four fucking months before I do my response video. So, um, but this is kind of a big topic and it comes up a lot. And, um, there isn't really a good way to talk about this without sounding like you're coming across as an asshole about it. So I'm going to try to come across as a um, more of a butthole than an asshole. So we'll see how this goes. But I don't think you should ever pay to submit your stuff. Ever, ever, ever. And um, <clears throat> that's just a me thing. Now, there are reasons, in air quotes, why people ask for payment to submit your stuff. And the number one reason at the end of the day, when you go through all the bull crap, the reason why they're asking you to pay to send your submissions in is because their magazine or their website or their anthology series is not making any money. So because it's not making any money, they have to figure out a way to offset the cost of making the thing. And so they figure if they charge people anywhere from like three bucks to five bucks, I've seen like 25 bucks submission fees. It's ridiculous. Um, and if they want to like argue that that's not why they, that's not the reason they do it, then you should be able to request certain information. So like, what's their circulation? Um, what, how many clicks on their website do they get? How many unique clicks do they get? How, what's their click through rate on their um, social media engagement to their site? Um, like all of these things, but none of these people want to ever really give you that information. I think um, there's like a parade of honking horns outside. Um, I think there was one place that I asked that information for. And, um, they sent me, this is a while back, but they sent me like a whole like um, list of who, like how many things they send out, what their subscriber rate is and all this stuff. And it wasn't very good. Like it didn't make me go, oh, wow. If I give them money to read my stuff, that'll really, like my odds are really good of getting in that magazine. And then... Um, X amount of people will read it. Like it, nothing felt like that. It was just that they were nice enough to be transparent and let me see that stuff. So another thing that I've noticed with a lot of um, magazines that require you to pay to submit is their editorial staff is huge. Like they'll have like, um, I don't know, like to me, any editorial staff over one 
is too big when it comes to stuff like this. But like they'll have like six or eight um, people reading um, submissions that come in. And that might be cool to like get different people to find different voices and stuff like that. But it seems like a lot. And if you're trying to compensate all the people on board, that's how they do it. Um, but like, it's weird too, because like the really big magazines that if you got into those magazines, that would really make a difference to your career. They don't charge for you to submit to them. So like, why the fuck are these smaller ones charging? <clears throat> so <clears throat> that's that portion of it. The next portion of it is what do you get from pain to have your stuff in this magazine. If you are submitting to a magazine or a zine or a website and the majority of their readers are other writers for that site or other people who were in that magazine, which let's be honest, is like 98% of everything out there. Um, you're not really going to get anything out of that because this is the big kicker that nobody either wants to believe or it, it's just, it's a horrible thing. But other writers are horrible customers writers write and they're trying to get their stuff sold they're trying to hustle they're trying to do their thing um and they're trying to make money at it so the last thing a writer is is somebody who supports other writers if that makes sense and it's not a shitty thing it's just it's a financial thing and um so if the the main audience for a certain website or a certain magazine is other writers, unless it's a huge magazine that that wouldn't even work for anyway. Now that I think about it, like it, it's not going to help you. Um, if you're building, like, let's say <clears throat> on Instagram, you post, a lot of um, poetry or a lot of short stories or whatever, little tiny micro fiction things. And you go through the people who are following you and 90% of the people who are following you are other writers doing the same thing. And then you wonder why like your sales aren't going through the roof because your Instagram followers are rising. That's why like, other writers are not good customers. I'm not saying they're bad people. I'm saying they're not good customers because they're focusing on their own stuff. So um, a, a magazine or a zine or a website, they have to be able, I, I think they have to be able to show you that their base readership isn't other writers who submit to the magazine. Because if you want to talk about screaming into the void, like that is like probably the best example that I could think of. Because like the most of the time, the other writers are going there to make sure their work has appeared in the thing. Or they'll buy five to ten copies to give to their friends and family. Like, look, I'm published. Um, and if that's what the majority of their stuff is, that's ridiculous. So that's another thing. But if you do a cost per submission kind of thing, and um, especially if they're paying, if you're paying them to submit, and then the compensation you get is like a copy of the magazine or um, a pat on the back, you know, like that's ridiculous. But I guess, and I think um, Kay said this in her video, that 
if you're paying like a three dollar submission fee and if you get accepted you could get paid like 25 to 50 bucks if that feels okay to you that's cool i guess i mean it's better odds than going to the track so you know like that's a pretty good payout so that's not bad um i i wouldn't do it because personally that just tells me that they are not very good at marketing their magazine or their website and this is the source of income from their um thing so um if you think i'm full of shit let me know down below and we could talk about it if you are like oh wait no there are some really good places that um make you pay and they're really good and they have a huge readership let me know what those places are because i fucking don't know what those places are um yeah so this got dark really quick so why don't you go over to my website oh, this is the actually no you know what this is a good thing let me just say this if you are willing to pay people money to maybe put your stuff out <clears throat> just build a website for yourself and pay your monthly hosting fee because you could probably generate more eyeballs to your work because you give a damn about it than a magazine or a other website could because they're just hoping you're going to push people to their website. Um, most website um, like things like that, unless they're on a different level, they're basically hoping bringing other people in will bring traffic because they don't know how to get their own traffic. So if you build a website and put your stuff on it and you like post to like Instagram or Facebook and Twitter and all the other fucking things and start building a mailing list, start putting your books up on Amazon and um, all the other places and you start doing that, I guarantee if you push you will get more eyes on you than if you got into 80 percent of the magazines out there so um and then you're just investing in your future and you're not lining someone else's pocket for no reason so advice there it is you could take it if you want it but if you go over to IHateMattWall.com, you can get a free ebook, um, and it is short stories and poetry. Um, make sure you check out my Patreon. There's tons of cool stuff on there, and I have chat books and stuff on Etsy as well as uh, books, um, ebooks on Amazon. So um, all the links will be down in the description below, and I will talk to you guys later.